Hi, it's Kelly Worley, Registered Dietitian Nutritionist with Nutrition Solutions. Today, I want to share with you my favorite calorie counting app. You've probably tried calorie, calorie counting apps before and not been satisfied. Maybe there were too many ads or it didn't have the features that you wanted or you felt some of the data was um, inaccurate. I felt the same way. I've used lots of different apps with my clients and I've never been 100% satisfied. Um, not until I started using the app that I use now with my clients, which is called Nutritionix tracker and I'll show you what it looks like. It's got a really clean interface. Um, the food dyer is really easy to use when you log in. You've got your food intake for the day right there in front of you and there's multiple ways that you can add your food. You see at the top there's the barcode scanner. So if you're eating a packaged food you can scan the barcode and it'll bring the food up and you just put the number of servings that you had. Super easy. Um, you can also search for the food in the box at the top um, just type the food that you ate. So for example, let's say a banana. Just search for a banana and it'll come up. And if you had one banana or if you had half a banana, you add the servings and then you add log one food, the green button, and it'll add it to what they call your food basket. So that's the food that you ate for the day. Um, if you want to take a picture of your food, you can do that as well. There's an option to take a picture of the, th the food that you ate. So let's say you're extremely proud of the meal that you ate and you wanted to remember it, you can take a picture of it. Or let's say you really don't want to focus on calories or macronutrients or micronutrients and you don't want to be bogged down by the numbers, but you want to still keep a food record, you can take pictures of your food. My most favorite feature though is the ability to speak your food diary and then it'll convert it into the food that you ate and in just like a minute you can track all the food that you ate for the day. So I want to show you how that works. So you click on track at the very bottom. There's a green plus sign at the bottom. You push on track and then it'll give you an option to use the freeform box. So just like you are going to use a type to text option, you push the little speaker and I'm not going to do that yet, but you'll push the speaker and then you can add the food that you said for the day. So let, let me show you. Breakfast, two scrambled eggs, one banana, one cup skim milk. Snack, one chocolate chip muffin. Lunch, two tacos, half a cup of grilled peppers, and a half a cup of refried beans. Okay, then you click finish, and then you'll see um, the option to add to basket. So you push add to basket and then it's going to put all of those foods that you just said into the diary but first before it actually logs it you get to go back over and check it and make sure everything is right. So I see that added two scrambled eggs, one banana, one cup of skim milk, one muffin, two tacos, a half a cup of peppers, and a half a cup of refried beans. So everything looked good. Now if there's something on there that wasn't right um, let's swap out the muffin, for example. It says one medium muffin. Well, maybe it was actually a mini muffin. So then just like uh, common features, you just swipe it and you push remove and then it'll be gone from your food diary and then you can add it a different way. So now that I see that everything is right at the bottom, put log six foods and it added that to my day. So I can see so far um, it has my breakfast, my lunch, everything listed on there. It shows the calories that I've had for the day. At the top, it shows calories burned if I've added that and then my remaining calories. Now, if you want to look at more details, you just scroll down to the bottom and you can click on view daily summary. It's a little pie at the very bottom right there. Click on that and then you can see your macronutrients. So you can see a pie chart of how much protein, how much carbohydrates, how much fat. It'll show you if you're over or under. And then you can also see some of your micronutrients like phosphorus, potassium, um, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, all of those are listed. Kind of looks like a food label, but it's what your daily food label. Uh, other things that you can add on here that I love, um, you can add your uh, exercise. So there's a little button at the bottom. You just scroll down at the bottom, add your exercise. You can connect it to some of the popular fitness trackers like Fitbit and HealthKit. You can track your water and you can track your weight. So it has all the features that you would want in a calorie counter plus a few more. Once you have some history and you've logged a few days into your app, you can see your stats. So you can see a list of how many days have you tracked, 
the green days are days that you've tracked. You can see like how like your streak if you've done it five days, 100%, whatever it might be. You can see your weight graph and how your weight changes from time to time. And the last feature I wanna show you is suggested. And there's a little bookmark at the bottom. You push on that and it'll give you a few different suggested foods. So if you're looking to add some variety to your diet, you can click on that. And all of those foods have been um, reviewed by registered dietitians. So the last thing I wanna show you, and this is especially why I love using this app with my clients, is I can um, view your food diary if you're my client through my computer. So let me show you how that works. So if you're my client, I can log into your account um, from my dashboard and I can see your daily food diary and I can see how many days you logged. I can see your calories, your carbohydrates, your proteins, your fats, so the macronutrients, I can see all that. So when we're in our session together, we can review it or if you needed me to look at it in between a session, I can do that as well. So there's really lots of cool features about the nutritionist tracker that I wanted to show with you and you can easily see why it's my favorite. Now calorie counting is really important. I mean, you um, have probably had a financial goal before, right? I would assume there have been a time when you've wanted to save for a trip or you've wanted to pay off your car. So you made up your plan, you figured out how much money do I need to save every month um, you probably even made a budget to see how much money you spend on things and how much money you need to save. Well, what does that have to do with nutrition? It has to do everything with nutrition. If you have a health goal, then what you put in your mouth every day is going to affect whether you meet that health goal or whether you don't meet that health goal. And that's why calorie counting is so important. Um, if you'd like um, some more of my, or to see some of my other favorite apps um, that I recommend, um, please click on the link included below, and it'll take you to my free guide, the 25 best apps for optimal health, and you can take a look and see what other apps might help you along your health journey. See you next time.